Hey everybody, it's Amanda, AKA Naturally Amanda, and today I'm going to do the get to know me tag. Oh, I feel like I have a lot of videos on YouTube, but it's like, I haven't really introduced myself. Like, who is this lady? Who are you? So today I decided to do the tag about me. Oh, and before I start, again, like always, I want to thank all my subscribers. I see you, I see you, I see you, and I see you. Thank you all so much for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the button. Thanks, guys. I'm just going to jump right into it. And yeah, first question. Um, My middle name, that's kind of, isn't that kind of nosy? But okay, fine. Um, my, my middle name is Mackenzie. My mom was going to name me Mackenzie, but the doctor was like, girl, everybody named mamas is being named Mackenzie right now. So don't do it. And so my mom was like, what? And so she decided to name me Amanda. My favorite drink, I actually love water. I drink several glasses a day. We have superb water like they come from the glaciers from the mountains and it is just delicious like I literally love water I just got back from Las Vegas and their water no offense if you live in Las Vegas but no girl no 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 it's like it, it's like dry water like it, it tasted dusty Ugh. so I love water and in my state we have excellent water, so I drink a lot of water. But um, as far as like soda and stuff, I love Coke. A nice glass of Coke. Mm. Mm -mm. My favorite color is purple. I just always have loved purple. My room is like various shades of purple. It's just one of those colors that I think a lot of people love, and I love it too. My first best friend was actually also named Amanda. Um, yeah, and I actually have a best friend now. We've been friends since the second grade. Her name is also Amanda, so I have a lot of friends. I've had a lot of friends in the history of my life that are named Amanda. I think it's a pretty common name, so. I think uh, basically my freshman year, I didn't know how to do my hair at all, and I wore a headband to school to control my hair. And I guess in the handbook, it said no headgear, which, which means like hats and all that kind of stuff and I wasn't allowed to wear headbands so I'm walking around the hall you know meeting people and I have on a headband and the principal sees me and she's like you need to take that off and I'm like what because for me the headband was solely to control my hair because I didn't know how to do my hair and so when she told me to take it off I was like do you know what will happen if I take this headband off do you know Clearly she didn't know. So I left school, I just left. I said, deuces, I hopped on the bus and I went to my mom's job and I said, mom, I'm dropping out of school. I'm never going back. She told me I can't wear a headband. I'm done. And so my mom had to take me back to school and she sat down with the principal and she's like, listen, you know, she's a good girl. She has good grades. It's like, let her wear her headband. And she, <laughs> so, I was gonna get in trouble for leaving, but my mom kind of, you know, finessed the situation and it turned out good. And I think that's funny to me now, but then I was mad. I was like, you know what? No, I'm done with school. And of course I didn't drop out. I have gone to college. I graduated. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm so happy. I was so happy to be done. You don't even know. But um, I graduated with um, a degree in psychology and a minor in human rights. So yes, I graduated last year and yeah, so I definitely completed college. How tall do you think I look? A lot of people tell me I look 5'5", five, 5'6", five, five, but I am 5'1". I am really short. I am super petite. My mom's petite and I just got those short jeans. So yeah, I am 5'1". Maybe even 5'2". I don't know. That'd be cool if I was 5'2". I'd be like, you know what? I'm not 5'1". I'm 5'2". And I'm proud. <laughs> I love coffee. My mom has been drinking coffee like forever. And 
she drinks her coffee straight black. And so I know to a lot of people that's just like disgusting, but I actually kind of drink, I like black coffee. Like all that added foo foo, sugar, milk, like I can do without that. I do add a little bit of milk sometimes, but you know, we're strong women. You know, that, that black coffee will make you tough. <laughs> no, but my mom, she literally drinks coffee black. And so I drink my coffee like majority black, but with a little milk. I know a lot of people would throw up, but I just, I just drink it like that. I know. You know, I like cats and dogs. I have two cats at the moment. So of course I love cats, um, but I do love dogs but I like cats. With you, this is really embarrassing. But like I said, I graduated um, college a year ago. Uh, and I really have not been reading since because you know, you read so much in school. It's kind of embarrassing, but um, yeah. Uh, my favorite book though, I do. Uh, favorite book. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I, I can't. <laughs> actually been to a lot of countries because I lived in a I lived in Africa more specifically Nigeria for two years so on like winter break we would travel to so many countries throughout Africa and we would go to Europe Paris um you know Italy <laughs> Netherlands like I've been like so many places um my favorite countries I've been to were like Belize, um, Bolivia. I really like South America and like Central America a lot. And of course Mexico. So I have been to a lot of places. Oh, this is so embarrassing because I should be fluent in Spanish right now. There's no excuse except for me being lazy. Um, I do know a lot of words in Spanish, but I think I, I'm not fluent at all. It's the piecing them together. That's my issue and it's so embarrassing because I I know how to roll my tongue so well. <sighs> you know, it's like, oh, I say words so well. Hola, como estas? Like my, like, ah, I'm just so embarrassed that I cannot speak it by now. I really, but like, it's kind of sad because I really try so hard. I'll be out, you know, and people be embarrassed because I'm really trying to speak to people. They're like, Amanda, just stop. You're not fluent. You're not fluent. Let it go. And I'm like, no, 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 Señor, por favor. You know, I'm like really out here trying. And people are like, Amanda, let it go, girl. You don't speak Spanish. <sighs> I'm so sad. I'm actually embarrassed. So yeah, I, I, yeah, I have a boyfriend. I'm thinking about bringing him on. Not sure yet. We will see. He wants to come on. He, I should do his makeup. That would be funny. Um, I would say my worst subject in school was math. I think I had math anxiety because I just, it did not click for me. I was so busy trying to get the answers from somebody else that I wasn't even focusing on learning. It's like a, it's a real problem. And I think a lot of people have math anxiety. So math was definitely my worst subject. My mom even got me a tutor at one point. But of course I passed because I'm out of college, but math was really hard for me. My favorite subject was like anything involving like world studies or geography. Um, I just like learning about other cultures and stuff like that. So anything about the world and stuff. In college, of course, my favorite subjects were like psych, my psych classes because that was my major and it interested me the most. I like exotic animals that you can find in like Africa. So, you know, your giraffes, rhinos, cheetahs, anything really exotic, I love. Um, I love giraffes though, they are so beautiful. Maybe at the moment today, we'll go with giraffe. That is my favorite animal and my final answer. Hume is from Nordstrom's and it is Joe Malone peony and blush suede. I think I got it right, peony and blush suede. It's kind of, as some would say, like a mature smell. 
um it's floral but it's like deep and ooh, i love it me and my mom actually wear it i i'm like mom we smell the same but we love it peony and blush suede um you can get it at nordstrom's that's my favorite perfume my son might be a junior i don't know oh i really like the name for a boy julius or julian and the funny thing about that is my first dog was named <laughs> My first dog was named Julius. So it's like kind of weird. T-ball. I did lacrosse, volleyball. Um, my mom even had me in ski school at one point. She would put me on a bus and ship me up to the mountain. And me and my friend, we would go to ski school like every Saturday. So sports. Yeah, I played everything. Um, I was on the swim team. I did dance belly dance girl i like musicals so i love chicago i like in her shoes with cameron diaz and tony collette i think tony collette and one of my favorite movies is something new with sana Lathan. so that was the get to know me tag um i hope you all enjoyed <sighs> that was kind of fun that was kind of fun. Like I said before, please be sure to subscribe if you aren't already subscribed and like this video and leave comments below and I will for sure answer your comments because I like talking to you all. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.